What's going on everyone? I hope you are all having a beautiful day. Today is a very cloudy day. As you can see, it's been, it's raining currently. It's a little bit of traffic. This is a one way. I'm not sure why this guy's driving in the opposite direction. But we are currently in Ubud in Bali. I am editing a YouTube video for you guys. And I just wanted to begin this video with letting you guys know that I'm starting a new series on my YouTube channel. It's more of like a self-help playlist where I can help you better yourself, better your life, and just like teach you some things that I learned from personal experience. So with this video, this video is about stepping out of your comfort zone. For this one, Travis doesn't really drink coffee that much, so he decided to go with me to the coffee plantation. I was chilling at the homestay that we were staying at before this one, and the owner came up to me. He said, Do you, would you like to go on a 20 minute drive to the coffee plantation? And I said, sure, okay. And stepping out of my comfort zone is driving 20 minutes onto the main road on my scooter because last time I got in a little wreck and ended up having to go to the clinic and it kind of sucked. So I'm a little, I got a little PTSD from driving, but I chose to step out of my comfort zone and drive on the main road and go like fast too because of the speeds, speed limit. There's no speed limit, but they drive pretty fast. So I had to keep up. That was just, I had a great experience once we made it there to the coffee plantation. We ended up trying a bunch of coffee. Travis enjoyed trying out the teas and stuff. It was really good. So this video is a perfect example of doing things that you're not necessarily comfortable with, but doing it for like the outcome, I guess you can say. So if you do anything in your life where you step out of your comfort zone, let me know in the comment section below. For me, I feel like a sense of achievement when I do something that I'm not comfortable with doing and I just feel like I overcame a challenge and it's a really great feeling. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this, just a little introduction to the video. Let's roll the clip. <gasps> Oh, so this is what they look like? It's a Luwak. Oh, they eat papaya, huh? Oh, that's cool. Papaya, cocoa, coffee is there, what they, they like it, special one. Okay, so we'll stop here and we'll be explaining about the coffee, yeah? I'll give you information about the coffee process. So start from here. So this is the cacao bean. This is the material from a chocolate powder. So this already dry before we roasting. And also this one we have the regular Bali coffee. So all of this the regular Bali coffee. So how about the Bali coffee we have Arabica and Robusta. But in here we get this Arabica coffee. So also in the board Arabica coffee we have two types, male and female coffee. So when you open this already the one bean inside like this, we call the male coffee. Bean inside the single. Male and female. Yeah. So this is the same tree, but a different taste, yeah? So male coffee more strong than the female coffee. Oh, okay. Also in here, we have this special coffee from the animal. So this is the Lua coffee. Oh, yeah. Lua coffee. This is the coffee come out from the seed of the animal. So this right. already dry we, before we roasting. But before roasting, we need move the skin. <laughs> one by one, we do by hand. This still manual process. But later on, if you're interested to try this special coffee, don't worry, don't thinking about the food. But it's already clean. Yeah. Until like this. You get this the bean. That one. Wow. Oh, so cool. yeah. When does the normal the food look like? This the... Uh, That's so the... Yeah, after the food. Uh, before we... Yeah. Before we wash. Then this one, after we wash. It looks like tempeh. Yeah, <laughs> like a tempeh. <laughs> so like that. She was uh, him roasting for one kilogram coffee. Him roasting around 45 minutes until to become black a little bit. You can smell it. Oh wow, yeah. that's very strong. Smells good. So you drink of it? Yeah. yeah. And then the second process we put here. So we make a powder. We do pound it here. So for one kilogram coffee. We need to pound it until one hour like this. This is like a pre gym. Good for exercise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the powder. But also this is the cacao and lua coffee. We do same process like a normal coffee. We need to roasting, ground it or the filter is first. That's cool, it's like the Hollywood sign. Yeah, <laughs> Bali Cappuccino. Now, so this one we have coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. Yeah, 
Okay. All of this you get free for testing. And so I will put according similar picture for you easy remember, yeah? Okay. So this one, Rosella tea. This is good for blood circulation. So this one, ginger tea. Good for the sore throat and stomach problem. Red rice tea. This is good for bone, calcium. This one, lemongrass tea. Good for the skin. Mangosteen tea. This is good for anti-cancer. Prepare antioxidant. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one, saffron or curcuma. This is good for immune system. Bali coffee. This is the pure. Yeah. Without sugar. Good for headache. So this one, vanilla coffee. <laughs> Mocachino no coffee, bali yeah. coffee, and chocolate. <coughs> so this one, coconut coffee, hot chocolate. This is good for everything, yeah. Good for everything. Yeah. <laughs> the last one, ginseng coffee. This is good for energy. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is great. Lemongrass. That's really good. Really good. Rosella. They're all good so far. Then you have like winter. You drink this ginger. So, try put this without sugar, yeah? If you mm -hmm. like sweet, you can put sugar. Mm -hmm. Really strong. It's strong. Very strong. Not, not sweet at all. No sweetness. You can really? compare with this one. It's very hot. <laughs> it's the different taste with this one. It's what? Yeah, Bali can coffee? Yeah, with this Bali coffee. But it's the same tree. Only the different... Uh, Different process, but it's from oh. the animal, it's the body's process. Oh, okay. This is different, yeah? Yeah, it's very different. It's very, very different. I prefer this one. <laughs> Luak. Okay. I prefer so, Luak. Be careful, it's still hot. Wait. So every day you drink coffee? He's an everyday drinker. I drink yeah. it occasionally. Like two, three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> We just finished our Luwak coffee and our teas and what else do we have? Yeah, we had some hot chocolate too. The hot chocolate was really good. Now I think we're done with the little tour thing and we're going to the shop. We're gonna go check out the shop. Can we pet him? Oh, so cute. So, so cool. Look at your camera. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we are at this water temple place. I'm not exactly sure where. Somewhere in Abud. What yeah, what it's called. But this place is in Abud. <laughs> Apparently, we have to buy a skirt or go find a skirt. So that's what we're on the hunt for. Figure out where to get one. Because in order to go in these temples and stuff, I guess you have to wear one. Oh, so we just get to grab one, I guess, right? Okay. It started raining, so now we have to wait it out. I'm gonna put my equipment away. Oh, there's lightning too. It looks like, I'm not sure, we'll see what's going on. Yeah. 